Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84. Thank you for coming and joining me on another video right here on YouTube. So everybody loves a good plug and play tactic. There are lots and lots of creative people out in the community that build tactics, put them up for download, and none probably more so than Nap himself. He is a guy who has been on FM Scout for the past couple of games, has his tactics table, and has been highly successful in the game. So we are going to put it through the usual tests. We are going to pick three teams, Arsenal, Nottingham Forest and Portsmouth. And we're going to test out how good this nap tactic is. The tactic is called Argus. It is the ME 22.4 Argus nap 352 volt 21 P102EC. What half of that means, I'm not sure, but it's the tactic that we are testing you can see it is the 352. We are going to break it down. We're going to show you some of the roles. Again, if you are on the Xbox and you want to pause the video, maybe so you can port this across to the console, feel free to do so. But let's get into the player instructions and their roles before we show you how this gets on. So we are starting off, as most of these tactics are, with a sweeper keeper on support. And there are his instructions. We then have two ball playing defenders either side of a libero. Both of those are instructed like so. And the libero, he is instructed like this. We then have two wing backs, one on the left and one on the right. Before we have a deep line playmaker in between two Mazalas. He is on screen now. And then we got Mazala on the left, Mazala on the right. For two AFs, the one on the right first and the one on the left. So you can see again, it is a custom tactic style for nap, positive mentality. In possession is like so. In transition is on screen. And out of possession looks like this. So another fantastic tactic from nap it's another one of those plug and play where it just looks like it's going to work but how good will it do with arsenal Notts forest and portsmouth we start the game off as always with arsenal jump into the competitions tab you can see arsenal have finished fifth in the league on 71 points they were knocked out in the third round by leeds united in the fa cup knocked out in the quarterfinals by crystal palace let's concentrate on the premier league then for the moment you can see that from 38 games, they have won 21, drawn 8, lost 9. Only a 28 goal difference from this one and 71 points. Arsenal, I think, are a little bit broken in this game. Uh, quite a few of these tactics, Arsenal find it difficult to crack the top three. Um, so seeing them finish fifth is probably respectable because you can't buy players and you're just simming the season. You could go out and buy players and adapt them to the tactic. I think this is going to be a really, really good one. Looking at the player stats, though, no top goal scorers, no, nobody in the average ratings, nobody in the assists. Player of the match awards, no. Clean sheets, no. But they do have Kieran Tierney down there with his 13 yellow cards. So it's an OK start. Arsenal being in fifth is OK. It's what the board were actually after. I mean, their media prediction is seventh, so fifth has actually technically outperformed what the media are saying uh, I just think that they could do a little bit better so let's jump on into the championship Nottingham Forest are up next if we hit the competitions tab and go to the championship you can see that they actually got promoted through the playoffs if we go to the league table you can see they finished in third place but before we go into more detail in that they got uh, knocked out in the fifth round of the FA Cup by West Ham. Knocked out in the third round of the Carabao Cup by Chelsea. So going back into the Championship then. Not far as finished third in the league. 81 points. 46 play. 23 wins. 12 draws. 11 losses. A goal difference of 32. So again, another lower goal difference. I've got a feeling this is a tactic that scores goals but also leaks goals. No players on the top, um, top goal scorers list. Jed Spence coming out as one of the best players in the division with a 7.5 average rating. Uh, James Garner got 14 assists. Jed Spence with 10 player of the match awards. Bryce Samba with 16 
no, 18, I can't read, 18 Man of the Match Awards, not even Man of the Match Awards, Clean Sheet Awards, I will concentrate in a second. And luckily for them, nobody on the yellow cards list. So, Forest third, promoted through the playoffs. They got, who did they actually beat in the semi-finals? Let's show you the path. So, they beat Hull in the semi-finals before beating QPR on penalties in the playoff final means that they have been promoted. So the tactic has got Arsenal fifth, Forest third and promotion. The last one to look at is Portsmouth. Let's have a look at them. Competitions tab. So you can see that they have actually lost in the playoff final. They were knocked out in the third round by Coventry City in the FA Cup. Uh, knocked out in the fourth round by Tottenham Hotspur in the Carabao Cup. Knocked out in the southern section in the Papa John's Trophy. So let's have a look at Sky Bet League 1. See what happened there. So they lost 4-2 in the playoff final to the MK Dons. But in terms of the league, they actually only finished 6th. 78 points. 46 games played. 21 won. 15 drawn. 10 lost. 24 goal difference. So again, this is actually a formation that isn't scoring as many goals as I thought it would. They don't have any players on any of those categories apart from the yellow cards, which is Tony Cliff and Raggett getting 13 and 12. If we look at their run to the playoff final, though, semi-finals, they beat Sheffield Wednesday. And then in the final, they lost out to MK Dons. So if we look at the tactic as a whole, you have got Arsenal in fifth, Forest in third with promotion. And Portsmouth in sixth, who missed out on promotion in the playoff final. So, a decent tactic. This is one that obviously Nap has quite a few different styles of tactic. It's one that seemingly fits Forest, but not Portsmouth. And Arsenal just did okay. So, it's one of those where you plug and play, you're going to have to buy your own players, I think, adapt the system to what you want. But it's still a decent enough tactic. If you want to download it, go and have a look at it. It'll be in the link in the description down below. Let me know how you get on in the comments section. For this one, though, I'm going to start to wrap it there. If you're still at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you for watching. Secondly, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please consider doing so. It helps the channel to get these kinds of videos out to so many more people. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Go check another video on the channel and I will see you soon.